welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be an empties video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while and I have tons of stuff in here so I thought I would go through it with you guys. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button here or down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. So let's get into it. There are a lot of things that I'm just getting rid of because I don't like them and they're the things that um, I used up quite a bit. So the first thing I'm grabbing here is this Visanti uh, Bright Up. It is this um, enzymatic face rejuvenator. This was in an Ipsy bag. I've actually had this before in a birch box like years ago um, and I loved it. I still love it. I totally forgot about it until I had received it in my Ipsy bag and was like so excited like this made my bag for me. It just completely clears all the dead skin away from your face which is perfect in the winter or the summer whenever your face is like super dry and it does it very gently you could actually use this every day if you needed to but really you should only um, do it for like maybe three times a month or three times a week um total then i have some shampoo here and conditioner it is the john frida luxurious luxurious volume visibly full touchable soft it is the conditioner and the shampoo I have here. I don't know what it is with me. I get like the little samples and you use them for like even two weeks. I can sometimes use them and I love them. And then I get the full size and I hate them. It's not a horrible formula, but it just seemed to like weigh down my hair over time. And just it started to like have build up or something. I don't use products on my hair. It's pretty much only always just a shampoo and conditioner. So if there's product build up, that means it's the shampoo or conditioner. This next item I'm so upset about because it's broken. I really like the Herbal Essence Naked Dry Shampoo, but it broke. Like you can hear it trying to come out. I used a pin to prick it, I've tried everything, it's clogged and it will not be fixed. So this happened with a small sample size too, so I have to say that it is something wrong with the packaging and I will not be repurchasing it even though I loved this stuff. Next is my deodorant. I love the Dove Dry Spray. This is in the regular scent. Um, I have another one, this exact one in my... Uh, bathroom I've also tried another flavor flavor scent but these last a ridiculous amount of time I'm on my I'm on my third one in a year so and I use it every day so these things work really well and last a long time I have here I tried this professional polish um, from Crest it is the 3d white uh, Crest 3d white fluoride toothpaste for anti-cavity and anti-gingivitis and then it had a step two was the whitening gel it was only enough to try it once but it seemed to work really well so I will be keeping my coupon no I won't be keeping my coupon because it's expired <laughs> anyways um, if I had the coupon still I would try it I think it worked okay but I would like to see how it would work over a longer period of time versus just one I have here something from First Day Beauty. It is their hypoallergenic, it is their face cleanser. It is one of the best ones. It's super, super gentle. I love, love, love it. I've done a review on it, like full on review about it. I think it's really great. I like it in the mornings when I'm just trying to get the sludge off from sleeping. Um, it's definitely not a, a deep cleanser, so I don't like using it at the end of the day, but I think it's perfect for mornings. Next, I have another shampoo conditioner. This is the Tresemme Luxurious Moisture one. This one I actually bought the sample sizes and fell in love with. Bought the full size and I'm still in love with them. I am halfway through the big, the really big bottles and I am absolutely, absolutely loving it. I think it's really worth the money. It makes my hair feel so, so soft. And I am so grateful to Mia, thank you Mia, for recommending it to me because I wouldn't have tried it if she, I hadn't been feeling touching her hair and going, oh, it's so soft, and asking her what it was. So, yeah, 
Thanks again, Mia. Another recommendation that I love from my friend Mia was this Clean and Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser. This is great for when I am having like major um, breakouts, which I'm actually doing now, so I need to go get some more of this. And um, this is just a sample size or like a travel size um, that I bought for when I went to VidCon. Um, but I decided to finish it up because I'm trying to finish up all these little bits and bobs of stuff that I have and before I go and buy new stuff. Um, and it worked really well and it gives you that nice tingly feeling which I really, really enjoy when you're doing a deep cleanser because then it really feels like you're getting a deep cleanse. Then I have my Allure Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This is in Creamy Ivory. I liked it for a really full coverage. I used it for a really long time. I've used it all up, but I'm loving my foundation that I'm using now, which is the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte Poreless, and it is so much cheaper. But if you want a high-end, really full coverage, um, foundation, this is the one to go with. Although I've heard they reformulated, so I don't know. There are just a few other things left in the box. One of them is the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara. This was, I think, a really good mascara. I liked it. It has just the rubber um, tip things to it, or it's like a rubber bristles. It worked well. It did definitely give my eyes more length. Um, and volume, so I really like Cover Curl mascaras though in general, they seem to work really well with my lashes. Next I have this Eva NYC Hair Mask Therapy. I was able to use it twice, I got this in an Ipsy bag and it really did give my hair a little bit of extra moisture that it needed, so I think it's a good product but I won't be purchasing it because there's other things out there. I have this Nug um, face mask. It was the revitalizing flaxseed and peppermint oil one. Um, they come in these little tubs and I just saved the top of it. I actually did a review, like a live review on my Snapchat. So every once in a while when I try something new, especially like face masks and stuff or skincare item, I tend to do a like Snapchat review of it. So make sure that you're following me. I'll put my little snap buddy here. And, um, yeah, I liked it. It worked really, really well. I was kind of hesitant because it has like a flower on it and I've noticed that anything with like flowers or pollen based things like fruit make my skin break out. Like I have a reaction, like it just turns red. And But this didn't do that, so I really liked it. And the last item here I have is the Elizabeth Mott Queen of the Fill. It is an eyebrow um, gel, like Thing. I hated it. I used it twice. It was horrible. The brush is like ridiculously small, although it's for your eyebrows, so I don't know how big of a brush you need. But my biggest problem with this was that I used it, it went on too heavy, and then I would sweat, or just a little bit sweat, and it would be dripping down my face. No one needs that. No one needs to be walking down the street with eyebrow gel coming down their face, right? So this is trash. I would not recommend it. It is horrible. So those are all my empties. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!